Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Another quick fix for Microsoft Flight Sim 2024. If you're having random crashes throughout your flight, this fix may help mitigate those issues. Now, I will say that not all crashes are created equal, and there's no one fix that's going to solve every problem, but this solved my crashes, so I wanted to share what I found with you. I also want to preface this by saying I downloaded Microsoft Flight Sim 2024 to the default location. So if you have downloaded this to an alternate location, that may alter where your files are going to be located. So let's get started. First, we're going to go down to your C drive, double click. I'm going to go down to users. We're going to double click there, double click on your username. Then we're going to go down to app data. If for some reason you do not have app data, then you're just going to go up to the top where it says view, and then you're going to tick on the box for hidden items. You may need to restart File Explorer, but you should have App Data Populate after that's done. So we're going to double click on App Data. We're going to double click on Local. And then we're going to scroll all the way down to Packages. We're going to double click on Packages. And then we're going to scroll down until we find Microsoft Limitless. There we go. So you'll have Limitless and your key. Double click that. And then you want to double click on the local state folder. In this folder, you're going to search for streamed packages. You will then double click there, click the very first one, hold down shift and hit the end button on your keyboard and it will highlight everything and then just hit delete. Okay, now they're deleted. We're going to go back two folders. So we're going to click on the Microsoft Limitless folder. Now we're going to double click on local cache. In here, we have scenery indexes. We're going to double click there. We're going to highlight, click, hold down shift and end. It will highlight everything. We can hit delete. Once that's done, we'll go back one more time to the local cache folder. And then we're going to go down to rolling cache. You will highlight that and then hit delete. All right, and that is it. Please know that it will take a little bit of extra time to re-download all this information on the next load up, but after that, everything should be good to go. And please let me know how this worked out for you down below in the comments section. While you're down there, make sure to hit that subscribe, tick on that little bell, and smash that thumbs up button. Now for all the Steam users, your files will all be located in the local cache folder. Here is what your folder should look like. You're going to double click on stream packages and do the exact same thing. You will delete everything that's in a stream packages folder. Once you're done there, you will then go up to the scenery indexes folder, delete everything that is in there. And then if you have your rolling cache here, which it should be, then you can delete that as well. And that's it folks. If you have any comments or questions, post them down below in the comments section and I'll get right back with you. If you enjoyed today's content and found it useful, make sure to hit that subscribe, tick on that little bell, and smash that thumbs up button. To all of my Flight Simmer friends around the world, keep the blue side up. We will see you on the next one. Thanks for watching, everybody.